Hello, this is Artifacts of Mars, and in Ekmek County Public Schools, some uh, county lib parent complained about two different novels that were that have been banned subsequently. One is To Kill a Mockingbird, and the other is Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Uh, I'm vaguely familiar with both of these. I've never read them. They're complaining about the racial slurs uh, in those, so the uh, decision is to ban them, so nobody has to listen to them. Well, excuse me, that's so many people talked back then. I'm vaguely familiar to Kill Mockingbird, if I'm not mistaken, it was uh, set in the 50s to try to overcome racial pet prejudice or something. I'm a little more familiar with uh, the adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Not much more. It doesn't matter. Uh, if you have... <coughs> I don't, let's see. To Kill Mockingbird... I believe was written by Steinbeck, and Huckleberry Finn was written by Mark Twain. If these great writers can have their uh, work censored, then are any of us safe from uh, censorship? This is what I'm asking here. I'm thinking not. This is Accomack Co County in Virginia. Earlier this month, a parent voiced concerns to a school board about racial slurs on both ends of the novel, in both of the novels. Right now, we're in nature divided as it is. Yeah, thanks to county liberalism. The mother said hearing, saying in an audio recording of a meeting on November 15th. She tells the board that her biracial son that is irrelevant. A high school student struggled getting through a page that was riddled with a racial slur. So I'll skip the page. You don't like it. So why are we teaching our children? We're validating that these words are acceptable and they're not acceptable by any means. The uh, cowardly parent said. I said cowardly parent because she don't want to name herself. Victoria Coombs, a mother too, told Ten on Your Side she agrees with books uh, that books with offensive racial slurs should not be read in schools. It's not right to put that in a book, let alone read it to a child, she said. Uh, excuse me, lady, these books are written by great literary masters. We're not talking about some garbage pieces that... Uh, you can find in your average you know, I don't know we're not talking about those at any rate I don't know where you find garbage books uh, some back street bookstore or something I don't want to see it happen because if you start with one racial word in a book you have to go on and on pretty soon you'll be burning books left and right R. Kellum said, exactly. Everybody's read it, didn't change my, any difference in my views at all, Catherine Glazer said. I'd like to read those books. My daughter's mixed, and I don't have a problem with it. I love those books. And there's another, um, another one right here. The same basic information is uh, WPXI.com, Channel 11 News. I'm going to see if I can pull that up about to kill the mockingbird and see if I'm right. I 
And I'm sorry, I've never read the even one. I saw the play Huckleberry Finn one time in school. They didn't drop any, uh... They didn't drop any racial slurs or anything. You know, you mixed up with something else. Just have never read these. Okay, it's a novel published by Harper Lee in 1960. It was immediately successful, winning Pulitzer Prize, and has become a classic of American literature. Plot and characters are loosely based on authors' observations of her families and neighbors, as well as an event that occurred near her hometown in 1936 when she was 10 years old. Na novels were known for its warmth and humor, despite dealing with serious issues of rape and racial inequality. The narrator's father, Atticus Finch, has served as a moral hero for many readers, not anymore, I guess, and as a model for integrity for lawyers. One critic explains the novel's impact by writing, in the 20th century, To Kill a Mockingbird is probably the most widely read book dealing with race in America, and its protagonist, Atticus Finch, the most enduring fictional image of racial heroism. So here we have a commie lib parent who doesn't want a book like this uh, a, a book like this that actually deals with racism and says bad things about it, they don't want that out there for people to read. So tell me, who's a racist? The one who wrote this book or this parent? I'll tell you, it's the parent that complained who's a racist. This is supposed to be a good book. I have never read it. Like I said... This is just disgusting. If they're tearing down uh, these great artists like Mark Twain and Harper Lee, whoever that is, I've never heard of this guy. Or woman or whatever. If they're tearing them down, then anybody can be censored. This is the point. This was a woman, American novelist, widely known for ki To Kill a Mockingbird in 1960. And of course, won all the awards. So, here we have great novels that are slices of Americana and they want to ban them. I don't know where all these communists are coming from, but uh, we're in a lot of trouble, folks. All right, that is our uh, Why Johnny Can't Read update. I'd rather these kids read uh, things extolling the virtues of homosexuality than they would novels that uh, show our you know, past in this country. This is disgusting. I'm sorry. I can't feel anything but anger about this. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.